a couple, you know, I took some time off to rest, and now it's game time, bitches. You have no idea. Disclaimer, this video might trigger you into loving yourself even more as you should, so proceed and watch with caution. Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's your boy T. I'm doing well. I hope y'all are doing fine too. So, um, I have been really dreading to do this video and not because I am lazy, but because I just wasn't feeling the background, like the setting and everything. Like everything just looks so dull and not me. But nonetheless, I know it, like, it had to be done because I owe it to myself and to you guys, of course, my subscribers. So this video is exactly what it is, like what it says on the title. I will be updating y'all on my life and nothing deep, honestly, but just, you know, just talking about shit, honestly. <laughs> So um, y'all just prepare yourselves a glass of wine or your favorite cocktail, whatever you want to drink, your favorite beverage, do that because I will be doing the same. Mm. So I am drinking on some Pinotage Rosé right here, it's actually really cold but I'm not sure if you can tell but I am drinking some Pinotage Rosé. And yeah, firstly, I would like to say Happy New Year to you guys. I know you guys are probably like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell does he mean Happy New Year? We are in April. Like, it doesn't make sense for him to be saying to us Happy New Year. But I personally believe that you can start, restart, or readjust your year in any month of the year, depending on you and how you feel. So yeah, I'd like to just clear the air and say Happy New Year to you guys. I hope you're having a good year and I hope y'all are doing good for yourselves. So let's talk YouTube. Yes, I haven't been the most consistent YouTuber, but <laughs> to be honest, I actually have been missing in action and just MIA, a deadbeat YouTuber, to put it blankly. And like, the streets aren't really the same without me. <laughs> it's not the same <laughs> it's not the same so i've decided to be grand i've decided to come back and just you know like it, it's really important like aesthetic your bar will be grand like will be right just do things that need to be done Kubani, like that's really important so yeah i actually do want to do a revamp on my youtube and my channel and just sort of start not start afresh but like have a pivot in my channel as i said yes i haven't been the most consistent youtuber and i actually want to really work on my consistency this year and just like you know do things more intentionally and consistently because i mean it like honestly i make a sense when you but <laughs> so I do want to do more content well I do want to start doing content on um, fashion both on YouTube and Instagram so I want to start dabbling into fashion content you know your lifestyle content and by lifestyle I don't mean the monotonous old boring expected vlogs that you know that I was doing you you guys are probably like you when did I do like what is going on with this nigga what is going on with this nigga like i've been uploading vlogs back to back and it's honestly not cute so yeah i still will upload vlogs though i still will do vlogs but just not as expected and those 
basic restaurant fine dining vlogs that you know about however i do have old videos that i've filmed in the past like old vlogs that i filmed in the past and i will upload them because i saw the filming so i definitely will be um uploading those vlogs however not in a way that is you know like expected continuous and monotonous to a point where it becomes boring and because honestly speaking for the past months i've been like uploading vlogs back to back like nobody's business and that's because like i honestly just didn't want to have this long period of time where i don't upload anything at all because so like why not upload daily vlogs like daily vlogs we support in your vlogs <laughs> but yeah so that's why i did that but you no know, in the future as i said i will be um dabbling into more fashion content lifestyle content like for example week in my life as a student what i eat as a student in a week and like as well aesthetic life on campus you name it like i actually have so many ideas on like my youtube and just like what i want to upload in the future moving forward and by the way i am filming this video <laughs> well my roommate is in here and he happens to actually be the most chilled person ever like and the pizza guy. Why are you laughing? Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, um, I'm actually playing chess. But... Oh, you're still playing chess. But yeah, guys, no, honestly, he's the most chilled person, like, ever. Or, like, ever. I'm so grateful to have a roommate like him, to be honest. Because. Likewise, man. Likewise, Honestly, I love to hear that. I, I was really like, what the hell? Yeah, I, I freaked, freaked out. out. <laughs> yeah, I freaked out. I was like, what the hell? Like, what are you was talking like, about? Chill, that was it. Ever since we've been, I would say, like, chill, that, yeah, chill, like, yeah. cordial and, you yeah, know, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. like, aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> like, aesthetic, dear roommates. I am blessed, honestly. Like, I'm so grateful for having you do it. Like, thank you so much for being my roommate. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. <laughs> because, like, no, honestly, my roommate last year, I'll actually tell you. Like, I'll, I'll tell you. You're yeah. Zach Yeah, okay, okay. I'll yeah. let you know. My roommate last year had the pet. That was so deep. Like, deep. Like, from, like, the video that you saw before this. I was really like, what the hell, obviously, because and like it's the first time seeing this person so now you don't really want to be but yeah i mean like we are so chill we're so cool like he's the best he's the best so yeah and maybe in the future honestly he like he will probably be in my, one of my videos i don't know <laughs> we'll probably do a video together in the future you never know <laughs> <laughs> Overall, like it's a new era, you guys. I I honestly think we should all, like you know, start doing things for ourselves, like you know, loving ourselves unconditionally, and just you know, do the things that we need to be done for ourselves. You know, like that's the best treatment and reward. Honestly speaking, if you start like doing things for yourself, if you start being there for yourself before anyone else is there for yourself so yeah i've really been working on that and i have been doing like a lot of introspection shadow work whatever you want to call it reflecting on like you know life in general hmm. and just you know getting to the bottom of things and like asking myself those uncomfortable questions the what the hows the whys and just everything honestly and like it's honestly really been crazy how i've been sort of like fearful of my potential and like what i know uh, you know i have to offer and like you know what i'm capable of essentially and my angels really have been telling me that it's okay 
and like they've been supportive of me and like you know we have been pushing me more and more to be more of myself and like just be accepting of myself and just like do things that I want to do and just be who I am, live life to the fullest now, seems <laughs> to Yeah, I know you my job. So yeah, honestly, I am so happy and I'm so grateful of like the person that I'm becoming and like the person that I am set up to be, you know? Yikes. Used to dumb dumb myself down for these chickens, now we're dumb dumb took a smile if we quick. Yo, the amount of stress and pressure I've been putting on myself lately, like even before like starting YouTube or like embarking on this journey of YouTube, like I've really been hard on myself and like I've placed myself in this sort of shell where I am like scared of my capabilities and I'm scared of like what I truly know that I can do. God want yasasba I know honestly that bandi bad business. So like it, it didn't make sense but why I'm be so like harsh on myself and like hard on myself and like my capabilities and like you know but uh, I guess we live and we learn and I'm really not being like judgmental of like my past self as you shouldn't be because we are judgmental of like our future selves so yeah man so i'm really proud of myself like as a person for like progressing and like moving on and like you know closing that chapter closing that cycle for myself and you know just like doing things for me and my highest good and like my beneficial greater good and you guys trust me like there's a lot of happiness in that like there's a lot of happiness in like doing things for yourself and you know like loving yourself unconditionally and just you know being there for yourself essentially like there's a lot of happiness in that trust me so i'm rambling and oversharing so yeah um the next time i do a sit down video the setting i hope will be different like i i have I actually need to buy some stuff like online for my room and just you know so everything just looks more welcoming and inviting and just you know more like Utemarani. So yeah guys that's it from me. That's it from me. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves, affirming yourselves and you know just giving yourselves all the love that you deserve and need that is unconditional just like you do the same for others i hope you are doing the same for you because that is really important that we be there for ourselves before we are there for others so everyone let me finish this class i'm done i've said what i wanted to say with you all and ciao but yeah i'll see you in the next one it's nice to be